in the tenth question that we have, we have been given a cubical box of side one meters that contains helium gas. The pressure of the gas is given, and we have been given with an important information that during one second, a, an atom traveling with an RMS speed parallel to one of the edges of the cube makes 500 hits with with a particle wall with no collision with other atoms and the other values of r and k is given we need to find out firstly the temperature of the gas for finding out this let us first draw the diagram as to what happens inside the cube we have an atom let the side of the cube be is equal to l we have an atom traveling with v rms parallel to one of the edges of the cube this velocity is parallel to this edge and it makes collision with no other atoms now it makes 500 hits with a particular wall let us find out the time taken by it to collide here and return back for the second collision the time taken will be equal to 2l upon v rms let it be 2l upon vx uh, in the general case this is the velocity in the x direction this is 2l upon vx therefore the number of collisions made with a particular wall in one second will be equal to 1 upon 2l upon vx this is number of collisions with a wall in one second is equal to 1 upon 2l upon vx is equal to vx upon 2l this was the velocity that is perpendicular to the wall and parallel to one of the edges now we have been given number of collisions with the wall in one seconds to be equal to 500 and vx to be equal to vrms therefore we can write 500 is equal to vrms upon 2 into l l is equal to 1 meters because the length of the side of the cube is equal to 1 meters therefore we get vrms is equal to 1000 meters per second now vrms is equal to uh, 1000 meters per second we can write root over 3 rt upon m is equal to 1000 let us feed in the values 3 into 25 by 3 many times you can write r as 25 by 3 this eases the calculations in many questions 3 into 25 by 3 into t upon molecular mass of helium gas that is atomic mass is 4 so the mass of 1 mole is one, 4 grams but we have to write this in kgs therefore we write 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 is equal to 1000 therefore 25 by 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 into t comes out to be equal to 10 raised to 6 we multiply 10 raised to minus 3 here to get 10 raised to 3 that is equal to 1000 now this goes away to give us 40 over here and t is equal to 160 kelvin in all these formulas the t is always in kelvin so first uh, the answer for the first part that is temperature of gas comes out to be equal to 160 kelvin now for the b part we need to find out the average kinetic energy of one molecule of a gas that is average kinetic energy per atom now we know that average kinetic energy per atom can be written as half mass of one atom into v rms whole square therefore this can be written to be equal to half into mass of one atom mass of one atom of helium is equal to 4 amu and the mass of one mole of atoms is equal to 4 grams therefore we write 4 amu over here 1 amu is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 27 kgs this multiplied by vrms that was equal to 1000 whole square that is 10 raised to 6 so the answer comes out to be equal to 3.2 into 10 raised to minus 21 joules so our answer for average kinetic energy per atom comes out to be equal to 3.2 into 10 raised to minus 21 joules one important thing which we see from here is that equal to kinetic energy the total translational kinetic energy of a gas is equal to half into total mass of the gas into vrms whole square this is equal to half into m into 3 rt upon m that is equal to 3 by 2 into rt 
सॉरी दिस एम इज द टोटल मास ऑफ द गैस दिस इज द मोलिकुलर मास ऑफ द गैस देफो एम ओपन एम नॉट बिकम्स इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ मोल्स देफो द टोटल ट्रांसलेशन कैनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ गैस कम्स आउट टू बी थ्री बाई टू एनआर टी सो वी सी दट कैनेटिक एनर्जी टोटल ट्रांसलेशन कैनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ गैस इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द टेम्परेचर दैट मीन इफ द टेम्परेचर ऑफ एन आइडियल गैस इज फिक्स देन दैनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द गैस विल भी फिक्स एंड वाई सी वर्स दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग विच यू शुड नोट फॉर अदर क्वेश्चन सो फाइनल आंसर फॉर एवरेज कैनेटिक एनर्जी पर एटम कम्स आउट टू बी थ्री पॉइंट टू टेन एस माइनस ट्वेंटी वन जूल्स पर एटम इज इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन एस माइनस ट्वेंटी वन जूल्स नाउ फॉर द थर्ड पार्ट नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द टोटल मास ऑफ हिलियम गैस इन द बॉक्स देफो वी यूज द फॉर्मुला पी वी जिकोड एनआर टी सिंस वी एम टू फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ हिलियम इन द बॉक्स दैट वी कैन फाइंड आउट द टोटल मास नाउ प्रेशर इज गिवन टू बी हंड्रेड न्यूटन्स पर मीटर स्क्वायर The volume of the box is one meter cube. This is equal to n into twenty-five by three. That is the value of R into T. The temperature came out to be one sixty Kelvin. In this formula, also temperature is always written in Kelvin. One sixty. Therefore, from here we get the number of moles is equal to three upon forty. So we know the total number of moles of helium gas in the box. Therefore, multiplying this by the molecular mass of helium, that is equal to four grams. We get the total mass of helium in the box that is equal to three upon three upon ten grams. That is equal to zero point three grams. So final answer for the temperature of the gas, helium gas comes out to be one sixty Kelvin. The average kinetic energy per atom comes out to be three point two ten raised to minus twenty one joules, and the total mass of helium gas present in the box comes out to be equal to point three grams.